So the DeFi platform Poly Network was recently hacked for $610 million worth of crypto. And the events that have followed this are honestly unbelievable. So here's a quick recap of what happened. Poly Network was hacked for $610 million through a cross-chain vulnerability. So Poly Network then promptly released this statement, which basically says, you know, you hacked us for a lot of money, please give it back. And if you don't, every country is going to be looking for you. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. The, the hacker actually responded to this message by sending back some crypto with messages embedded into the transactions. The hacker immediately revealed that they intended on returning the money and they were just trying to expose a flaw in the system, which is why they earned the name Mr. White Hat. Fast forward today, after many transactions, the money has actually all been sent back except for just a little bit of USDT that was frozen in the process. This was a massive shock to many as a lot of people were skeptical of Mr. White Hat from the start saying that he was lying and he was just gonna keep a chunk of the change for himself, which clearly ended up surprisingly, crazily, not being true. So Poly Network just revealed that this vulnerability has now been fixed and reviewed and they seem to be so happy with the hacker's ability to uncover this vulnerability that they actually offered him a job as their chief security advisor, which I can imagine is a very, very well-paying job. Not only that, Poly Network also gave the hacker $500,000 as a reward for exposing the flaw. So regardless of if he takes the job or not, he's kind of coming out on top here, but I mean, $600 million sounds a little bit more nice than 500K, but at least it's a legal 500K. Not everyone though is agreeing with the job offer or the reward as some believe that the hacker did not have good intentions from the start, that he was actually just scared into giving it back because all the countries are gonna be after him. <laughs> And this is definitely a possibility, but at the end of the day, everyone seems to be happy here. The hacker got his bonus paycheck and a job offer. The Poly Network got their money back, and we all got a pretty, pretty good story out of it. Thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed this content, make sure you subscribe to the main channel as well, right here.